Alright, and that intro you just saw is what we'll be making today. Okay, so this will be how to create a more advanced intro. As long as you know basics, it's not hard. Follow my steps. I'll try and go in depth about everything I'm doing. Um, but at the moment, let's just look at the scene and what it should look like at the end. Okay, we have our main text, which is the blue, and we have an outer text, which gives us another outside glow. Rendered, it should look like this. And it has no actual lamps in the scene. So I'll show you how to make some indirect lighting. And some very, very simple compositing. It's honestly not that hard. If you don't know what you're doing, it may look overwhelming, but just follow my steps and you'll be okay. Okay, I think that's everything. Let's open up a new scene. Um, let me maximize this. Let me load the factory settings. Because it's for the very basic... Uh, beginners, let's pull this out, you don't need to do any of that. Uh, I'm going to hit T and hide this toolbar. Um, I'll start now. We're going to hit 1 to go into front, we're going to hit 5 to go into autographic. We're going to hit X on our default cube, we're going to hit Shift A to open up the add menu. We want a plane. Okay, so we're going to hit S to scale that up. And the way I'm panning around is holding down the mouse button. Uh, middle mouse button, that is. Like the scroll wheel. Um, I want to shift A and add some text. Okay. I'm going to hit tab to edit the text. Can't really see it that well. In fact, just let me add a quick material. Okay. Let's add some text. Just my name for right now. Let's do I want to center that. Um let's actually change the color to a blue. Okay, let's work on the material quick. In fact, no, let's rotate it. So it's standing. Rotate to 70. And then when we go to one, which is front, that should look fine. Okay. Uh Whatever you do, add your text in and just make sure the admission value, which is right here, is 1, specularity is 0, and well, that's all you need for this bit. Um, just trying to think of some going. Um, make sure I'm recording. Yes, I am. Don't want to be stupid. Um, I actually did that quite recently in a whole tutorial. Didn't even record it. Okay, I want to extrude a bit so it's not just paper thin and horrible. So for this, I'm going to go here. And you can just drag, but yeah, it's either too thin. Actually, that's about fine. I usually go for about 0.05. Um, and that looks fine to me. Not horribly fat. And it just gives it a little more depth. So if we look through the camera, which is zero on your numpad, you can see that we're nowhere close to it. You can't read it. So we're going to go to front. Hit Control Alt Numpad 0. And that should put you in front view because the camera will then move to where you're looking. Um... What else do we need? Oh, let's go to render thing. Uh, render this, and that doesn't look as nice as the one you first saw in the beginning. So let's change this to. I'll just give it a black sky for right now. Doesn't really matter too much. Uh, and we don't want any lights or any physical lamps in the scene, but now. So you can see that just look kind of horrible. Actually, let's get rid of the text. Uh, change the font. To change the font in Blender, what we do is get this regular. 
and the font. Here, uh, click it. And then in Windows, I'm not sure how to do it, Max. You go under Windows, Font, and then just choose any. You may have to go into Word Experiment, but which one you want. I'm just going to go for this one. Nice simple fat text. Um, just clicking G and moving this down. Sorry if I'm not making a lot of sense. I really don't normally. Oh, I don't normally make sense anyway. But I'm trying. Okay. Let's change the indirect lighting. Okay. So back into world settings. We want to hit indirect lighting. Close that now. Approximate. And I like to change the flat value to about two. That means there are two units it will fall. Just kind of had to explain what I mean. And as you can see now we have this cool little glow effect. And yeah, let's work off that. So I want to shift the the text. Right click so it cancel cancels and moves back to where it was originally. Genometry, we want to click here, half it, so that's 0.25 and then we want to set the offset to like 0.1 uh, 0.01 and as you can see it's got an outline now so we want to change the material but to do that we click that numbered little 2 so it'll make it a separate material we want to change colour to white and another important step when you change the emission down to 0.4 and let's re-render this um that's looking fine i guess um just trying to think what else i need to do here i've done that done that um, okay, I said I'd make it simple, but if you want it to look alright, just trust me and follow my steps here. Click on the white background um, text, hit M2, so it should move it to that layer. I pointed at the screen, I don't know why I did that. Hold shift down, click here, and that will mean that on the two layers you can see both uh, everything and then you want to click under layers blue rename the text we want to add a new render layer name it white so that's what color text is for here we only want to select blue uh, oh. layer one and blue and then for here we want to click layer two and only layer two bloody hell that made no sense Ah, oh, God, I may have to re-record this. Um, okay, and then we can hide this. So now, if we go over to the compositor, in fact, yeah, okay, let me just drag this little thing over and this little thing down, then click Use Nodes, Use Backdrop. Grab this, grab this. Okay, we want a Shift D. So it will duplicate, change this little box to white. Um, and we want to add a viewer node. Okay. So it's kind of hard to explain. It's a render pipeline, which all the compositor is. And well, if you want to learn more about it I'll put a link down to the blender guru which is where I learn everything I know pretty much that and just generally messing about okay so we want to shift a add a filter blur and then once you put the blur in it'll be on flat we want to change it to fast Gaussian then change the in fact shift it now put it down here put the output from the render layer into the input of the second blur node. We want to shift A 
a mix node under color, change it to add, and drag it in the output into the viewer node. And we want to drag top node into the top input and the bottom node into the second input. And we want to shift e this, put it down here, and drag this render layer up. Okay, now render that. Hopefully everything goes well. Probably won't, knowing me. No, that hasn't worked properly, but it will do. And still edit it from here. Okay, so we want to change. Wait, yes, that's right, fine. We want to change the top blur node to 15. That will give it a nice blur. But that's only on the y X, so we want to change the. Um, Y node, blah, Y axis to about 15, more or less, depending on what you think it needs. And to create an inner blur, we want to change this to about 5 for both X and Y. And it's just made a fading node, a uh, fading blur between the two. And let's put the output into the final add. Now we want to add a another filter, a or filter, filter. And then we want to change it to a pawoch. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Bloody hell! How would you? And then we want to add another filter and a glare. You don't have to change anything on this node. But under here should give you this nice little blur effect. Point blue, yes. Yeah, I think it's pretty much done. Um, and for the big blocky writing, I think a three streaks work well if my computer hasn't frozen. Any second now. There we go. Three, which will change the amount of streaks coming off each little glow. Because of how pointy the text is, I think this works pretty well. Well, how sharp the text is. Um, let me you want to turn this up to 5. And... I think, with all the compositing. Now, hopping back over to animate it. We want to go back to the default window and we just want to do some simple very simple animating okay I'm going to change the end to 150 just so we don't have too many frames and a long intro is annoying um don't have to adjust this I just do it don't know why okay so if you go to 150 in fact, one fray and keyframe uh only to be rotating this uh location. So click that one and go over to here, grab it, rotate it. So yeah, that should do. And G there. Okay, now you can see that doesn't look too nice. So, what we do is add some middle frames or breakdown frames, or whatever they're called. G, just grab it to about here, rotate it up a bit more. G. Let's keyframe it here, Let's see what happens. Yeah, flies. Nicely past the text and zooms out. And I always leave like 15 frames at the end so the person can see the final name. And I'm going to call that done. I'll render this out and put it at the end. And just as I thought it was done, I forgot to include how to render. Because if you're relatively new, you probably don't know that. So, let's get into it. <laughs>
again. I always set the quality to 1920 and 1080. That will make sure it's. Uh, whoops. Pretty sure that's what it does. And I like to keep render them into PNG files because they're lossless. I think is the word. They're better quality. Okay, so find out where you want to save it. Uh, intro touch. I'm gonna hit I to create new. Fin. Render. Tut. And then just click accept. And simple enough, you just hit animate. And I'll skip this bit. Okay, and it's done. I actually forgot about it for a few hours, so let's carry on. Okay, now let's just pretend you don't have anything like Cine Vegas, so we'll use Movie Maker to put it into an animation. Now, find out where you put all the photos. I put it in Fin Render Tut. I'm gonna go down, you can just hit Control A. Yeah, Control A. And that'll select every photo in the file. So we put all those together and make sure all of them are selected. Which they all are. So now we go to the video tools. We go down to duration. This is how long each image will be shown for. So I'm going to put for about 0.5, maybe 0.6. Uh, nah, 0.5 should be long enough. Don't want too long. And if we play through quickly, you can see that it's an animation. Try that back to begin. No, you don't let it just dull like that. You want to put some music with it. Luckily, I've got a tune to go with it. And this came from Montage Music. They're on YouTube. All their stuff is copyright free, so you can download whichever you want from the link and use it however you want. It's really good. I like it, so I've subscribed. And then you can just simply like fade in the music and fade out. I always fade everything in and out so it transitions nicely. And that is your first animation ugh, intro done. Okay, I'm just going to save this and put it at the end. Cheers for watching, guys. Be sure to leave a comment if you need any help. Oh, it's ready here. Yeah. Save over it. I don't think that was the right thing. I saved over. Cheers for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe if you need any help with anything. Hey guys, I've just finished the editing for the intro tutorial and I've put a lot of effort into this one. It took me most of today. So if you could hit this little subscribe thing somewhere up here, help me out a lot. Cheers. Thank you.